Good morning and welcome back to our Seattle vlog day two. We're gonna go get some coffee right now. We just woke up, got dressed and ready. We're gonna go to the coffee shop that we showed you yesterday on the vlog. But aside from that, we do have a pretty busy day. We've got the Space Needle, Pike's Place, Elysian, Brewery, maybe a rooftop bar. And yeah, we're gonna try and fit in as much as we can today. So stay tuned, obviously. Oh my God. Good morning, Space Needle. Okay, we're getting a different coffee shop today, but this one is called Cafe Cosmos. We didn't know that it was here, so maybe tomorrow, or we could do that Monday before we leave. Can we get a rip for the espresso machine? Not only are we getting a rip for the espresso machine, we're getting a rip for Jordy's leg that Jim was Okay. Went in there. I got it on film, but you can't deny it. Um, I didn't realize that there was a step, so I just dropped down. This is why we look where we walk. Well, when you vlog, you don't look. And that's not true. There's boats. It's working. It works. Let's go. I ordered a latte with lavender and Jesse got the Cafe Vinis. I'm Uptown dying. Espresso. First one. Starbucks doesn't count because it's everywhere. That's true. So. Woo! We are all done with our coffee. Dude, this is so cool. Whoa. Dude, this is so sick. So cool. Oh my God, that looks so dope. So we ended up walking through a sculpture museum, which was super dope. And now we're going back to the Airbnb where we will get ready and go to a brunch place called Breakfast Bitch, which just happens to be right next to the Pike's Place Market and uh, the gum wall that Jess wants to see. So, fun day so far. And we're back. We're getting ready to go to the next things. We have uh, Pike's Place, gum wall. We have to buy gum, we have a sticker to put on the wall. We're gonna go to Biscuit Bitch, which is actually the name of the restaurant and their menu is super funny. It says like, bitch, this is the best thing you've ever had. I'll, I'll, we'll have to show you when we get there. And then aside from that, we have Space Needle, we have the uh, museum, which has a Minecraft thing. I mean, we got a busy day. We are ready to go. We're kind of matching, it's kind of cute. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Let's head out. I have my mask and my shoes on this time, so <laughs> hog. <laughs> the hunt for wheels or birds or limes or whatever begins now. All right, so I spotted a wheel. It's right there. I got my wheels app open. Okay, bike is ready to go, let's go. All right, you better skirt, go. <laughs> Look at the young Jordy frolic. All right, let's see if I can get on this bad boy. Come on, better luck than yesterday. Dude, you got this, I feel it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. All right, now we gotta get you riding away into the into the sunset. Ready for this? Yep. About to fucking. Okay, go. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I feel like things keep happening to us that we don't expect. We ordered online, and it'll be ready in an hour. So we're gonna go to Pike's place in the meantime. 
this is the famous sign that everyone talks about. Pikes Place Public Market. from the market so we went back <laughs> and now we're waiting for our biscuit bitch Picked up our biscuit bitch and we found this cute little bench just watch out for that i don't know what that is that's hey you want to sit on this side that's mad sus i ordered the or bitch witch over there on the stairs yeah let's do that actually yeah. we might have more space i ordered the bitch witch and just bought the buttery buttery biscuit bitch <laughs> the, i think it's the buttery bitch oh. Fire. It was delicious and now I'm stuffed. Um, we're gonna go back to the B&B, get ready for the nighttime because we got a lot of stuff to do for the rest of the day and we want to just kind of get ready because everything's in the same area. So yeah, really excited. Slight change of plans. So we went back to the Airbnb. We were gonna get ready for dinner, but we didn't realize the Space Needle is literally 10 minutes away, which means on that's walking. So on a wheel, that's like it's like four minutes so we're actually gonna go to the mopop museum first there's a minecraft exhibit and i can't fucking wait to see that shit um but yeah so we're gonna do that we're gonna come back and then space needle dinner is at four which is gonna be amazing so it's gonna be sick we're heading out again i mean honestly the beautiful thing about our, this airbnb is it's so close to everything essential especially the space needle the Space Needle, the Waterfront, the Pikes Place, it honestly was only what, like a 10 minute, 10 minute bike ride? Not even, it took us nine minutes. Yeah. So. Our wheels are still here waiting for us. Honestly, no offense to Bird, but these are a lot easier to navigate. Left and then right. Look. There it is, Mopa. Dude, look at that. So sick. All right, we're gonna see if we can get in this place. Fingers crossed. They're sold out. The good out. news is there's a chance that maybe we can get it tomorrow, but it would be at nine. And then that would kind of mess us up. If for whatever reason you do have to wait here to get in, then we have to go all the way to the aquarium and then possibly not get into that. So no, this is our this is our know. only option. No, so here's a, here's the thing. The aquarium said that we will be able to go in at any time, oh, but there minutes. might be a wait. Oh, well then. So if anything, we can try and be here tomorrow at 9 a.m. and then like literally like walk in, and then by 10:30 we should be able to get to the aquarium. It's not that far. True. Okay. So I mean, at least we know. Um, I mean, if you want, we can go to like a brewery or something. 
I mean, we have time to kill now. We're not... Elysian's right here. We don't have... We don't have to be... I mean, we can go back at like... What's your YouTube channel? Jordy Locks! Jordy Locks! Jordy Locks! On Twitch! <laughs> Long story short, Mopup was, was full. Space Needle's still happening later. We already have tickets for that. And then we are gonna go to a brewery or something right now because we still have time to kill, so we'll keep you updated. Our wheels have been parked. We trekked a solid 1.8 miles to get here. Elysian Brewing Company. Let's go. Hello. Let's go, friends. Hi. Hi. How are you doing for? Two of us, for please. For two. Our flight has arrived. Just got one, two. I got the Dragon's Tooth Stout Painkiller Tiki IPA, Salt and Seed Watermelon Goes, and a Velvet Painting Raw IPA. I'm gonna try that one first. Whoa, that one's super watermelon. Yeah. That one's good. Alright, I'm gonna try the. I would save that one for last. The stout? Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna try the painkiller TV idea. Because I feel like the rest of them. Bro, this one smells really good. It smells like pineapple. Years. 25 years. Close. Close enough. Good enough. Um, he said it has strong coffee, strong chocolate flavors. Put it down. Let me let me take a look. It's called Dragon's Tooth. Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Tooth. Dragon's Tooth. And he says it's so good. So, number one, smell. Often, I mean, it smells like your typical stout. It smells dark and oaty and chocolatey. See, what you guys not, may not know about Jordy is every time she tastes a beer, she has this kind of like... Watch, she's gonna get a reaction here. Boom, yep, that's it, right there. Wow, it's really, actually, it's almost got like a, a smokiness. Like, okay. you, have you ever had a whiskey that's like really smoky? Yeah. It, I get that. Hmm. Lots of smoke, lots of, uh, it's like um, a dark chocolate. It's not milk, it's not a sweet chocolate, but it's like a very, like a rock Like a bitter cow. chocolate? Yes. And uh, I want to say this one's a very high percentage. Yeah, I think it's an 8.5 is what he said. I have one left. I have the, yeah. the Velvet Painting Raw IPA and it's right there. I already had that one. She had it, what do you think? I thought it was good, and I just don't know what makes the IPA raw, but it's very smooth. Okay, well, I'm gonna do that, so. Done at Elysian, getting back on our wheels. I think at this point, these bikes are literally ours. No one else can take them. We're ready for dinner. Jess looks so good. He's rocking his new shoots. What, sh new shoots? New shoots. <laughs> new shoes. <laughs> what are they called? These are some Chelsea boots. The Chelsea boots. By Steve Madden. Steve Madden. Out here. Okay. And uh... I had to change up the fit one time because, you know, the weather wasn't wasn't feeling the long sleeve vibes. Look at this. Brand new dress. Sheeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
we are here. Check-in is between 4 and 4.15. It's 16.02, so we're kind of early, kind of late. That should look wild. And then there's some art. Shoo! Okay, this is actually unreal. The fact that we are literally going to eat and drink with the downtown and the port in front of us is insane. We just got our drinks. We've got four different wines, a Sauv Blanc, Chardonnay, Pinot, and Cab. And this is absolutely insane. That's the view from my feet. Go up to the line. <laughs> Sausage roll with bread and like a mustard, mustard, mustard seed something. And onion. Yeah. Are you still using the spoon? No, I'm using a fork for this one. lemon curd and honeysuckle. Super buttery. Super buttery. Mans is already eating the crab pasta when I'm still on the sausage. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Moving on up to layer three. That shit busts in main. God damn. I'll finish the Chardonnay first. Not only are we on course four, French onion soup. I, I, honestly, it smells better than it looks, but I feel like that's French onion soup. Let me tell you, I've already tried it because I'm ahead of the game here, I'm ahead of the curve. It's fucking great. All right, but we're gonna cheers to some Pinot. What's the profile? Cocoa powder. Bramble. I don't know what bramble is, so it's cool. Red currant, yes. star anise, and black tea. That's interesting. <clears throat> this one's way warmer than the whites. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a sous vide or whatever it's a called. So a sommelier? Yeah, I wanna be that. You have to know what it's called. Oh? Wow. Yeah, you weren't kidding. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my god, this a looks so good. There's a cookies and cream, there's a fruity pebbles. Well, look at this. Cheese! Cheese! Okay. Okay. Fruity pebbles, my cream. I've ever like, like a proper macaroon. Just 
this has fruity pebbles on the inside. I know. This is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. And this one's cookies and cream. I know. Yo, look at the way that this like hardened. I'm gonna enjoy these. That's fine. Whatever. That's Fox would say. Yep. Mmm. The other one was bomb. But let me tell you, I'm a cookies and cream kind of guy. I think I like the other one better. See, she's a fruity pebble kind of person, so. That makes but they're both sense. very good. We're leaving the Space Needle. Not because we're forced to. We could stay here longer, but we finish our wine, we finish our food, we finish our dessert. And sadly, it is time to move on. Cue sad music. But for real, we're gonna go to, I think it's called Flagstick. It's a bar with like putting, like golf inside. Super freaking stoked for that. Uh, we're just gonna like kind of hit the town and see what there is to explore. Things that we've never been to. And we've got some cool pics for the gram. And a dope TikTok to be posted. So, yeah, we're gonna head on out. Someone jacked my wheel, so I'm on a lime, but just found another one, so we're gonna go see if it's taken. You see this right here? Yep, that shit mine. We found it. We booling. We doing it. I feel like in GTA, you know, when you head back to your apartment. And it's like buffering. Yeah. One more time, how? Go like this. And then you're in like a fucking building. You're in your penthouse? Yeah. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to go without a sweater because it's only a mile away. It's gonna be cold at night. It's only a mile away. You're gonna, you're gonna grab a sweater. You're gonna carry it? No, you are. Exactly, that's why I'm not taking a sweater. You're literally, Three. okay, after this, cut forward really quick to the part later when he says, oh, it's so cold. I wish I had a sweater. That's you, that's not me. No, that's you, I'm bringing no. a sweater. This is whack, I don't wanna take this shit. What you holding? You think you're funny, huh? I do. Yeah, well, you got a giant coat. I just got a jacket because you're going to complain later and you're going to give me content because you're cold. <laughs> That's what would have happened. No, it wouldn't have been because we're a mile away and I'm going to be shit-faced warm. No, you're not. You're not going to be shit-faced. You're right. No. Our wheels go in the flagstick. That's flagstick. We went way too far, but we're here now. Is it this one? All right, so Kevin from Team War told us about this place called a Flat Stick Pub. We are there, we are golfing and drinking at the same time. It's basically mini golf and drinks, and it looks so cool. <laughs> You're joking. That is actually such BS. <laughs> it's gonna be a long day. Jess is feeling so confident in his shot, but... Ooh. I almost got it, dude. It literally hit the circle. But you didn't. <laughs> hey, let's see yours. All right, just for the record, Jory likes to talk smack, and uh, her last putt, she had to hit six times to get in. So uh, let's see how she goes here. Okay, okay. Oh, that, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pro stance. Ooh. Yo, that's dude, that's honestly the shot of the day. You suck. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> so free, you're literally dog water. Bro. She's gone. Wait, 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 keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. Dude, 
I kind of went like, yep, it is. Oh, exactly like that, but just a little harder. Four. <laughs> Five. Five to two, bitch. Let's go. All right. Nice. Alright, that was swing number one for Jordan. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> That's still a better shot than me. Here's a warning. The battery on my camera is dying. <laughs> so we are at a new place called El Republic and we just got some wings. Did you say El Republic? Yeah, that's what it's called. It looks delicious. Before it dies, what do we just do? We had dinner. Um, delicious. Okay, we ordered wings before we ordered our main dishes. Bomb. They were fire. They were really, 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 really good. Then we ordered a Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Also bomb. That was fire, literally. But uh, so spicy. Jordy thought it was very spicy. I thought it was like weirdly sweet. Um, that's fine. Um, and then we ordered risotto. Let me tell you right now. The, risotto, the best. The risotto that I've, I've never had a risotto that was like that fucking delicious. If I could eat something for the rest of my life every single day and like I wouldn't get tired of it, I'd probably choose that. It was delicious. Now we are going to take our wheels back to the Airbnb. We are going to hope that they're still there, first of all. But we're going to go back to the Airbnb, watch some shows. I got to plug in my camera because it's literally dying, so I'm going to make this short and quick. And yeah, it was an overall very eventful day. Much love. Lots of fun. We found no wheels. Zero wheels were found. So we walked all the way home. Bro, motherfucker really put a wheels in there? Oh, you're kidding me. That's literally what we could have taken home. <laughs> this man said, I ain't parking it outside. I'm parking this. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna do that next time. I'm gonna time. do this shit tomorrow.